San Antonio Spurs. So sick with it. So sick with it. So sick guard. Tony Parker. At the other guard position. Manu Ginobili. At the other forward position, Robert Ory. At center, Tim Duncan. Welcome, everyone, to this exciting NBA exhibition game here in San Antonio. The visiting Indiana Pacers will spur off against the Spurs here on the 2K Games Network. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kevin Harlan, here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sager will join us later on. Well, both of these teams have some outstanding ball handlers, Kevin. If you love to kill a crossover, the spin moves, and all the shake and bakes, this is the game to watch. While the players get loosened up, let's take a look at the Toyota key matchup of the game. Kenny? Kevin. There are two guys out there who I really think have the potential to be difference makers in this game. Duncan is an immense talent and certainly one of the elite players in the NBA. He's such a savvy defender too. He doesn't make many mistakes and he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Standing across the court is another difference maker. Foster is a very proficient center. This guy has all the heart. He gives you 100% every moment he's on the floor. You gotta respect the player. Like that. Here are the starting lineups as we're all set to get underway. The Spurs are a bunch of greyhounds with excellent speed. The Pacers have fantastic ball handlers who can create offensive opportunities. All right, Kenny, we're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. The Spurs take the tip off and will set up the offense. Passes to Manu. Backs in. Duncan. O'Neal snatches it down inside. He tried to throw the spin move into his act that time. It worked out about as well as you'd expect, Kev. That's not his game. Skips it to Granger. Seven on the shot clock. Passes to Tinsley. Shoots. Duncan grabs the rebound inside. We've got a tie ball game here. A 10-footer missed. To Tinsley. The Pacers bring it up. Just over four minutes left in the first. Swings it to Granger. The pass to Jackson. Passes it to Foster. Passes to O'Neal. With the teardrop, it's a little short, but gets the friendly roll. They're hoping to set the tone with that first basket. Dishes to the middle. It's picked off by Foster. Tosses it up court, crosses it over. Passes back to Jackson. Feeds it to O'Neal. To Tinsley. Five on the shot clock. With one on the 24. Drops. Tinsley. Tinsley can hit that shot when he gets a decent look. Nice, Jay. The Spurs with the ball. They're losing by four. The pass to Ginobili. Duncan tries to back down. Shoots the three. O'Neal rips it down from high altitude. The Pacers with the ball. 2.50 left in the first. Picked off by Granger. Intercepted by Manu, and that's going to be his second takeaway of the contest. 
Bounce pass to Parker. To the rack. Kisses it off the glass and in. Parker threaded the needle with that pass and got his man from the inside bucket. Nice, nice feed. Granger inbounds it to Tinsley. Swings it to the left side. Skip pass to Granger. Five on the shot clock. Passes to Granger. Launches beyond the arc. Bounces it off the left rim and in. That's good team basketball right there, Kevin. Now let's go over to Craig Seger, who has an update for us. Well, I had a moment to speak with Greg Popovich, coach of the Spurs. When asked what's key for them, he said, with their excellent D, it's critical that we stay focused on offense, move the ball around, and keep them off balance. Kevin? All right, thank you, Craig. Defensive foul. Duncan, he's pummeled, and will have a chance for two at the line. Shooting two. He can't get the first. He misses them both. To Tinsley, the Pacers bring it up. It's a five-point game. Swings it to Granger. The bounce pass to Tinsley. The pass to O'Neal. O'Neal came close to getting the three-point play, but instead he'll go to the line to shoot two. Shooting two. He knocks down the first one. He gets them both. The inbound to Parker. The Spurs with the ball. And it's a seven-point game. Passes it to Manu. Ginobili with the crossover. Let's it go from the wing. Too much mustard on that one. The Pacers with the ball. 112 left in the first quarter. Passes to Jackson. Tries to post him up. Taken away by Duncan. Protecting the ball is first priority. You cannot start thinking ahead and lose track of the hand. Fired long by Ginobili to Jackson. With the floater, Defense hammer, and he'll go to the line. Shooting two. Can't sink the first. Good on number two. They're trailing 10 to 2. Swings it to Ginobili. Here comes the double team. Swung it to Parker. Puts up the tray. Foster grabs the defensive rebound. Spins. Dishes inside. Glides in. Plays it in. Sweet time to lead into the rack. Bowen saw his buddy had a lane to the bucket, and he led him with the pass. Beautiful play. Twenty-three seconds left in the first. One second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Granger. Passes it to Tinsley. Six seconds to shoot. Dish, down low. Close range. Get that out of here. Got it up. No good. We're at the end of one. The score, 10 to 4. Kenny, what's stood out for you so far? Well, Kevin, a couple of players have really stood out. O'Neal has been really crashing the boards in the first quarter, Kevin. 
great effort to battle down low and get big rebounds. Bowen has been scoring well for his team, and he's done his part to keep him in it. All right, Kenny, just moments to go here before the action resumes. Daniel throws it in to start the second. Passes to Daniels. To Tinsley. Six seconds to shoot. Kicks it out to Jackson. Nice job to grab the defensive board by Duncan. Jackson made the pretty crossover move, but pretty doesn't put points on the board. You've got to make that shot. Count the layup by Ginobili. The Pacers bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the second. Tinsley backs down. Swings it to Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. Takes the turnaround J. Duncan snatches down the defensive board. It's a four-point ball game. Ginobili almost got it to fall, and he will go to the line to shoot two. Holly checks in for the first time. Substitution on the court. He can't get the first. Good on number two. The pass to Jackson. Passes to Daniels. Passes to O'Neal. Backs in. Five on the shot clock. Puts it up. Comes up empty from eight feet. Nice moves to get down low. But once you're there, you got to finish. Bounces it to Ginobili. Duncan tries to back him in. Skips it to Manu. Ginobili. Great pass by Duncan. Inbound pass to Tinsley. The Pacers with the ball. And it's a one-point game. Feeds it to the middle. O'Neal hacks. And he'll go to the line for a couple. Manu will leave the floor. Substitution on the court. Can't sink the first. He sinks the second. The Spurs with the ball. They're shooting 36% from the field. To Finley, tries to back down. Defensive foul. Daniel is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Five on the shot clock. Pass to Finley. For the tie. But is the lay-in. The Pacers with the ball. They're up 11-9. Swings it to Jackson. Skip pass to O'Neal. Let's it go from the left block. Iron short against the kind roll and goes in. O'Neal did a nice job there working inside for the close-range bucket. 
The Spurs with the ball. They're four for 12 from the floor. The pass to Finley. Duncan backs down. Seven on the shot clock. The kick out to Bowen from just inside the arc. A little long, but it goes in. The Pacers with the ball. 152 left in the half. Passes to the left side. Bounce pass to O'Neal. They've got to rush it. Passes it to Daniels. Intercepted by Bowen. That's his second takeaway of the contest. Passes to the left block. Passes to Duncan. To tie. Gets the bucket. Duncan is just a terrific shooter. Great form, great vision, and he knows how to make big shots. The Pacers will take their first timeout. Orris will hit the floor. Pollard will leave the floor. The score is tied at 13. To Jackson. Dumps it to the middle. Backs him down. O'Neal backed on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Shooting two. Gets the first of two. And he splits the free throws. The Spurs with the ball. They're shooting 42% from the field. Skipped it to Parker. The feed to Duncan. The pass cut off by Granger. The finisher finishes with the soft touch. Tinsley found a gap and took it right to the rack. The Spurs bring it up. 49 seconds left in the second. Lobbed it to Ori. Passes it to the left side. Duncan, Defense he gets hammered and he'll head to the line. Shooting two. He knocks down the first one. Gets them both. The Pacers with the ball. They're winning by one. Swings it to Jackson. The pass to Tinsley. O'Neal tries to back him in. Passes to Jackson. With the shot. Can't nail the jump. There's six for 14 from the floor. Passed it to Ginobili. Hit the left iron, but dropped in by Ginobili. With the defense barely shadowing him, it's just too easy. You know he's dropping that one. Passes to Jackson. Tries to post him up. An emphatic rejection by Duncan. Step on the line, and they will give up the ball. Inbound pass to Tinsley. Got it off in time, and the buzzer beater was drained by Tinsley. 
The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The score, 18 to 17. Well, it's been an interesting game, Kevin. Both teams have played hard, but they can play better as well. I think the second half has the potential to be even more exciting than the first. Well, it's time for our 2K Sports Halftime Report. O'Neal has shown a lot of hustle out there. He's given 100% effort out there. And you can bet he'll bring it out there in the second half. The Spurs are trailing by just a bit. Ginobili has been going all out to keep them alive. You know he's going to come back ready to play. But we'll see if they can grab the lead here in the second half. All right, thanks, Kenny. Now let's take a look at the team stats from the first half. The Pacers have built a small lead in this hard-fought game. Both teams are very hungry for a win. Should make for a great second half. Let's send it over to Craig Sager for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, guys, after the first half, I talked with Greg Popovich, coach of the Spurs. He told me that he thinks they played very well in the first half. He mentioned they haven't been able to capitalize at the free throw line. While making an issue of it can sometimes backfire, he asked his players to relax and take their time out there. We'll see if that helps. All right, Craig, we should be ready to go momentarily. O'Neal throws it in to start the third. To Jackson. O'Neal backs down. Kick out to Jackson. From just inside the arc, Steven wishes it through. Great delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the D and set up the shot perfectly. The pass to Duncan backs him down. The turnaround, Jay Granger corrals the miss. The Pacers bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Parker swiped the ball away. He didn't fool anybody with that crossover, and all he got for his trouble was the ball taken from him. And that's a back steal. Offline by Ori. Manu has picked up his first foul of the game. The Pacers with the ball. They're clinging to a small lead. Passes to the high post. Skips it to Granger. Passes it to the left block. O'Neal tries to back down. Snatched in by Duncan. The Spurs bring it up. They're shooting 43% from the floor. Reeled in by Foster. Surprisingly, that's only his second rebound so Damn far. Ranger. Ranger got right to the rack because the D totally lost track of him. The Spurs bring it up. About three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The handoff to Ginobili tries to back down. Six seconds to shoot. The bounce pass to Bowen. Granger picked off that pass for his third takeaway so far. Great finish by Jackson. His scoring ability is so valuable, Kevin. He's a guy you can rely on to make shots. The Spurs with the ball. They're trailing by seven. The dish to Duncan. Picked off by Granger. That's his fourth takeaway so far. A finisher Jamar off the Tinsley. backboard and in. The Spurs timeout. will take their first Spurs. timeout of the game. Two 
53 left in the third. Hans left side. Passes to Parker. Dumps it to Duncan to end the drought. Foster grabs it, and that's his third rebound of the contest. Swung it to Jackson. He's doubled up. Didn't realize that he was on the line. They'll turn it over. Passes it to the left block. Shoots from the post. It falls short. Jackson would have had another highlight reel crossover if not for the miss. Swings it to Ori. Passes to the middle. Duncan got the bucket and the foul. Shooting one. He completes the three-point play. Foster inbounds it to Tinsley. Tinsley brings it up. He's got eight points. Skip pass to Foster. Granger tries the spin move. Granger, Duncan inhales it. The Spurs bring it up, and it's a six-point game. Passes to Ori. The pass to Parker. Inside. Foster corrals the miss inside. 145 left in the third. Passes to Jackson. Skips it to Granger. Swings it to Foster. Five on the shot clock. O'Neal backs in. The J was off the mark by O'Neal. O'Neal was aggressive there taking it to the D, but the shot was well contested. Ginobu connected on the shot, and he was fouled. A chance here for a three-point play. He completes the three-point play. The Pacers with the ball. They're shooting 50% for the quarter. Feeds it down low. Sails in. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. The Spurs with the ball. Facing a narrow deficit. The bucket was set up with the dish by Parker. Parker made a beautiful feed inside. Good pass and really breaks down the deep. The Pacers with the ball. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. To Granger. Passes to Tinsley. Six seconds to shoot. The pass to Jackson. Takes a three. O'Neal gets the offensive rebound. Gently drops it in. Fantastic play for the garbage bucket. That's how you get after it. Parker brings it up the court. He's got five assists. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to Manu. Backs down. Back to Bowen. The Spurs were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Skips it to the left side. Shoots! Granger is on it. Drops in the Damn. buzzer beater. Granger. We're at the end of the third quarter with the score, 30 to 25. Kenny, I know it's not over yet, but do you have a guess who will be the player of the game? Well, it's a tough one, but I'll venture to guess. Granger has been holding his own out there, and they've got the lead. I won't be surprised if he gets the player of the game. Thanks, Kenny. Let's get set to begin the fourth quarter. Bowen inbounds it to start the final quarter. Skip pass to Manu. Duncan tries to post him up. To Manu. 
Off the left rim and out by Ginobili. It looks like he bit off a little bit more than he could chew with that spin move. Passes to Granger. Skips it to Jackson. Swings it to Foster. Seven on the shot clock. Here comes the double team. The steal by Ori. Tosses it up court. The Spurs bring it up. They're shooting 45% for the game. Great finish by Parker. The Pacers with the ball. Just over four minutes left in the fourth. Swings it to the right side. Skips it inside. O'Neal gently Jermaine drops it in. O'Neal got in a prime scoring position and got the job done. Nice execution. The Spurs bring it up. They trail 32 to 27. The pass to Bowen. Passes to Ginobili. To Duncan. Passes to Ori. Six seconds to shoot. Shoots from 12. Rips it off right iron. No good. Passes it inside. Releases. Money on the jump shot. That's his bread and butter right there. That's hard to stop. The Spurs with the ball. They're 11 for 24 from the field. Swings it to Ori. Dumps it down low. Netted by Duncan. The Pacers with the ball. It's a five-point game. The pass to Granger. Passes to Jackson. Takes it in. Puts too much on it. The Spurs with the ball. 2.52 left in the game. Passes to Ori. Passes it to the outside. Dishes it inside. Manu. O'Neal gets the defensive rebound. The defense set the tone there on the inside and made a nice stop. Tries to back him in. It's stolen by Ori. The Spurs bring it up. They're shooting 46% from the field. Duncan hacked on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. Shooting two. Sinks the first of two. He gets them both. The Pacers with the ball, and it's a three-point game. The pass to Granger. Swings it to Jackson. Gives the up fake. From the wing, oh, off target. Jackson tried to get off a quick J before they could recover, but no dice. Short shot, kind roll, and dropped in by Ginobili. Tinsel brings it up the floor. He's got eight points. Passes it to Jackson. Feeds it down low. The one-handed dunk Jermaine, was stuffed down by O'Neal. The Spurs with the ball. They can tie it with a three. Hands it off to Ginobili. Dishes to Bowen. Great pass. Let him in. And the finish by Bowen. Great pass. Way to find the open man. The Pacers with the ball. They're ahead, 36 to 35. Crosses it over. Tinsley with the ups and downs. That's travel. Spurs ball. The inbound to Parker. The Spurs with the ball. A bucket here would give them their first lead in quite a while. 
Dumps it down low to take the lead. Hits the far iron, but it goes in. Duncan did a great job with the pinpoint bounce pad. You love to play with guys who set you up like that. The Pacers call timeout. They're losing by one. 110 left to the fourth. to Granger. 13 feet out. Jordan yes! O'Neal. O'Neal took that shot without a moment's hesitation despite the man in his face. Now that's confidence. The Spurs bring it up. They're five for eight for the quarter. Shoots. Duncan has it, and that's his ninth rebound thus far. Duncan hacks, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Shooting two. Off target on the first. Connects on number two, and that ties this game up. The Pacers with the ball. The crowd on the edge of their seats. Passes to Jackson. Jackson can't connect on the quick shot. The Spurs with the ball. 35 seconds left in the game. Bowen sank the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. Shooting one. Can't get the and one, but they still hold a two-point lead. The Pacers bring it up. It's a two-point differential. Swung it to Jackson. Dish to O'Neal. O'Neal almost got it to fall, and he will go to the line to shoot two. No good on the first. An offer from the line, and it's still a two-point game. The Spurs with the ball. They've been doing a great job so far sharing the rock on offense. Defensive foul. Jackson has picked up his, his first, first foul, foul of the game. 14 foul. Shooting two. Gets the first. That makes it a three-point lead. Two for two, and it's a four-point ball game. Inbound pass to Tinsley. The pass to Jackson. From just inside the arc, Duncan snatches the rebound. To Bowen. The long shot three was off by Bowen. That'll do it. The Spurs defeat the Pacers 42-38. to It was a hard-fought game. You got that right, Kevin. The Spurs controlled the middle today, as you see from the points in the paint. They ran the offense from the inside to the outside and denied penetration on deep. Textbook execution. Thanks, Kenny. Now it's time to see the Toyota player of the game. Well, he clearly deserves it, John. He gave them an edge in this one. Yes, indeed. Duncan played great. 12 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, and he's the Toyota player of the game. Time for us to say goodbye for Kenny Smith and Craig Sager. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports.